Okay, so the next part is to adjust the shifter forks in this guy, and in order to do that, I need a jig, which I do not have. Uh, you have to, you, you have to basically put this in a location where it's exactly like it would be in the transmission, and adjust it so the shifters work correctly. Uh, and there's a special jig to do that. Instead, I'm going to try and hack together my old case to do it. I have three cases. One will be donated to the cause. Okay, so this is my old transmission case. The case is actually still good, but I'm going to use it and hack it up. Um, so, this is the old front gear carrier, which is damaged. It's, it is actually still good. So the only thing good about this transmission is really the casing at this point, which I'm going to cut up. But, oh well. So, taking a look, I need to figure out what I need to adjust and mark this casing where I'm going to cut it out so I can adjust the gears. Let's do that. Alright, so right here is where the uh, first, second gear carrier nut is, and I'm going to need to adjust that. And so, so that's going to have to have an inspection window. Oh boy, I cannot see with that pin. Let's take a look here. Oh. So you have to cut out right about here. A bit. I probably want to be able to get my hand into it. Right. So cut that out. And let's take a look at the other action gear carrier with the gears. Alright, so these guys are going to be sitting in there something like this. Yep, something like that. I want to be able to adjust this guy here. And, oh yeah, that one there is actually third, fourth. There's seconds here. So a lot of stuff's on this left side here. Uh, my left. The actual transmission left too. Because the front of the transmission is that way. So it looks like if I cut out a bunch of junk on the left side, I can actually adjust a bunch of stuff. And so I need to kind of cut it all out here. It's interesting as like I can cut a big inspection window over here on the left side and that's going to let me get to a lot of these things to adjust it and play around with it. I want to be able to get my hand into it. Cut this guy out here and see how that works. Alright, here's the transmission where I cut a hole in. Let's test it, see if I can actually adjust things by putting this guy back into it. See if that works. Okay, now I can get to all the bolts. I don't think I'm gonna have to adjust this one here, but I can adjust this one and the other one up there. I, I didn't need to actually cut the case more, but that's okay. Now I'm going to make sure the main shaft bolts line up and uh, put them on. Tighten it down to the proper torque spec.